Hey everybody, it's Jason Blah here, and today I just wanted to briefly discuss a study, really it's just correlational data that several people link to me, people are freaking out about it. It might get spread through the different YouTube channels, I want to go ahead and address it real quick before everyone else gets to it. It's a study being done showing a possible link between supplement use and testicular cancer. Now let's keep in mind that they are pointing out that testicular cancer rates have gone up slightly, at least in, in the Western countries. I didn't, can't see the full study, I've just got a little bit of info on in the abstract there, to something like uh, 5 in 100,000 men. So it's not really, really high. It's not like it's anywhere near something like breast cancer or cervical cancer or any of these issues that females have. And they're trying to show a link there between that and supplement use. The problem is that, that this is purely correlational data. And it's just general supplements, meaning it might not be all supplements in general. It could be just one or two supplements out there that could be having some sort of causation with there. It could be people who are supplementing zinc, which I recommend you don't do anyways. It could be people taking creatine. And maybe there's just this one supplement somewhere is boosting it way up. And that's skewing the numbers a bit all around. Or there could be another lifestyle factor there, particularly since it looks like this was partially based out of uh, the UK. And we know that anabolic steroid use is extremely high in the UK because it's illegal and there are massive numbers of underground labs. Uh, I go to gyms and when I was there and would meet tons of guys who are 18, 19 years old who are blasting tons of gear. So you've also got that factor to consider that, you know, it is very possible that using large amounts of anabolics, particularly starting at a younger age, because they found some of these higher numbers apparently from people starting using all these supplements before 25. Well, maybe it's the fact that people who use multiple supplements are far, far, far more likely statistically to use anabolic steroids and you can use them to excess and possibly to be using them at a young age before their endocrine system is completely done developing. That very well might double or triple your chances of getting testicular cancer. Now it's still a really, really low rate no, and it's still a really low rate no matter what. But the thing is, when you see something like this, sure there might be something to it. But the thing is, this is correlational data. And remember, correlation does not equal causation. So just because you see a link there with one thing doesn't mean it's not another factor completely that just happens to go hand in hand with it that's causing it. So until they have further data on this, I wouldn't read too much into it. I wouldn't just automatically assume that your whey protein or your vitamin D is going to give you testicular cancer. That would be a absurd extrapolation based upon the data we have there. It's just correlation. I strongly suspect there's going to be a link with something like uh, large amounts of anabolic use, uh, boosting the chances of getting testicular cancer a little higher. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time. But let me give you guys a bicep shot before I go. Oh, Mount Bicepius. <laughs>